and toe smashing, so we just have to get a little louder. Division 
Division Governors here today, our Northwest Division Governor, Tiffany Salinko Howard. <laughs> Our Central South Division Governor, Rachel Mohammed, is with us. <laughs> Our Central North Division Governor, Oscar Langford, Jr. Our Southwest Division Governor, Chris Kostakis. <laughs> Our Northeast Division Governor, Kathy Stroh. <laughs> Our West Division Governor, the one with the little ring from the uh, I would like to announce that we have our recognition chair here today, that is Sharon Cruz. Extension Chair here today, Jerry Evans. <laughs> Our Retention Chair, Iqbal Acha. <laughs> we have our Area 6 Governor, Diane Boland. Here. Mendelovitz. 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 How many off chance that I, in my perfect delivery here, missed it? <laughs> okay, great. Great. Okay. Today we'll have two contests. We're going to have a table topics contest, and we're going to have our international speech contest. First contest, of course, will be our table topics contest. After that has concluded, we will take a 10-minute break. Afterwards, when we reconvene, we will start our international speech contest. <coughs> I would like to have everyone turn off their cell phones or any other kind of electronic devices they may have that may inadvertently go off at the most inopportune time. We'd just like everybody to know that the contestants, the timers, the ballot counters, the sergeant at arms have all been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone involved is aware of the Toastmaster International Rules that govern the contest. No one should enter or leave the room during the contestant's speaking time. You may do so during the minute between each contestant if necessary. With that said, let the contest begin! I will now announce the order, the speaking order of the table topics contestants. 
contestant number one, Ann Teckloff. Contestant number one, Ann Teckloff. Contestant number two, Adam Phillips. Contestant number two, Adam Phillips. Contestant number three, Steve Ackerman. Contestant number three, Steve Ackerman. Contestant number four, Ivan Ewert. Contestant number four, Ivan Ewert. Contestant number five, Tom Keith. <coughs> Contestant number five, Tom Keith. And contestant number six, Natasha Jones. Contestant number six, Natasha Jones. Sergeant at Arms, will you kindly escort the contestants two through <coughs> six out of the room so that we may begin our table topics contest?
Contestant number two, Adam Phillips. If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? Adam <coughs> Phillips. Good morning, everybody. The question is, if I could travel to any time or place, where would I go? I think I would like to go back to the late 1700s, say 1775, 1774, or 1773, and be in part of the group that helped create the nation that we live in. There's so much that went on back then to put all those colonies together that it would just be fascinating to be part of that. And the courage that it took for those people to do that, because each and every person could have been sentenced for treason and taken back to England and executed. That would be fascinating and just enjoy being part of that group and building what we all celebrate today our freedom, the freedom to be here, the freedom to do anything we want in this country without ridicule, without persecution. So if I could travel back to any place in time, I would choose 1770 to 1775 and be part of creating this great nation we live on. Contestant number three, Steve Ackerman. If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? Steve Ackerman. Toastmasters and guests, it's very inviting to think of a better time. It's very inviting to say, I want to go back to the time of world peace. I want to go back to the time of Christ. I want to go back to the 50s. But you know what? It's a dream. I have a different dream. <clears throat> Take the time that you're at right now, each one of you, and invest. Invest in the present, invest in the future, cast out whatever negativity you learned growing up. Whatever negativity there is at your job, with your friends, with your family, change it. You can do it. There's nothing written in stone that you have to accept everything today. We are our experiences and our experiences are us. We can cast out that negativity. 
We can associate with positive people. We can have positive things, positive feelings every day. We can eat right. We can exercise. We can change whatever about our lives that we don't like. We can change whatever is our environment that we don't like. If not in reality, then inside our minds where the visit and the journey begins. So I say to everyone, it's wonderful to dream about a different time or place, but the best place and the best time is right here, right now. Contestant number four, Ivan Ewert. If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? Ivan Ewert. Scottish Highlands, the sun coming up over the mountains, the seat of kings, the ancient kings of my blood. I don't need to meet them. Yeah. I've stood where they stood. Hong Kong, the furthest I've ever traveled, and the city where, curiously enough, a boy from a farming community felt entirely, wildly at home. Lights all night things to do every moment of the day, and people from around the world. That is the key to me. Where can I meet someone completely different from myself? Where can I learn from them? Where can I speak to them, engage with them, befriend them? If I could travel to any place in the world, it would be a place where I could learn from my men. Many friends. Mr. Tesman.
contestant number five, Tom Keith. If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? Tom Keith. because I just found out that I am going to be a volunteer for a new project that's from the government. <clears throat> They're going to do some time travel. And they picked me because they knew I needed some information that I'm going to get on this. They're going to send me to the future. And the reason why I said that if you could send me anywhere in time where I'd want to go, I said I want to go to the future because I want to educate the today me. I want to go to the future, and I want to find out, how did I mess up? <laughs> what the heck was I thinking when I did the six or seven things that I'm going to be able to discover in my trip to the future? I'm going to be able to find out the people who loved me and cared about me and nurtured me to get me to my future state. And then I'm going to be able to come back here and I'm going to find those people, because some of them I haven't met yet. And I'm going to become their best friend. <laughs> and I'm going to love them. And I'm going to support them. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that they get to a positive future state as well. Because there's no sense in going to a future and finding out how I can make positive changes in my life without being able to use that knowledge to make positive changes in the lives of other people. Mr. May I have one minute of silence, please? Thank you. <coughs> Contestant number six, Natasha Jones. If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? If you could travel to any time or place, where would you go? Natasha Jones.
answer, clearly not a singer. <laughs> I got to spend six months in the States. I lived with 53 host families. I spent six months in Europe. We traveled from Finland to Estonia to Norway, all the way down to Portugal. There was one thing, though, that I didn't like about my travel, and that was it was so similar. I mean, yes, there are so many differences, but there were so many similarities. I mean, when I was in Estonia, I could find McDonald's like that. <laughs> now, like I said, I'm a dancer. And through my life, I got to take many different dance classes. And I had taken a couple African dances, dance classes. And that is someplace where I would always love to go. Because I think that it would be so different from everything else that I got to experience. Out in the safari, wild animals, tribal dancers. Not McDonald's, not Diet Coke whenever I needed it, not that barbecue sauce that I love so much with my chicken nuggets, but getting to see people in the element living in their villages, in community. That's what I've always wanted to experience. Hopefully someday I'll get there, and I'll definitely take some dance classes once I do. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. Take a 10 minute break. I've got two items on the agenda. First, let's give a fine round of applause to all six of our wonderful contestants. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I apologize. I have a friend that just passed away, and, and my mind is elsewhere. We've now concluded the contest. We're going to take uh, a moment of silence until the judges are able to complete their ballots.
contest Toastmaster, we have all the ballots. Before we take a 10 minute break, the two things on my mind, please, very warm applause for all six of our great contestants. about the exciting details of our upcoming district contest given by our district governor, Donna <laughs> Weston. Yeah. Oh, you got some of those things. Okay. All right. 
Yeah. <laughs> 